Open Health My Claudia podcast with me, Denny Schaefer, a production of Denny Radio. This is episode 49, Claudia, 49. Woo-hoo. We're going to talk about fish oils. What are they? What are omega 3s? Why should you care? That's what we're going to talk about. Here's a disclaimer the information contained in these podcasts is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or health condition. Please consult a qualified healthcare professional if you do have a medical condition. The FDA has not evaluated the information on this podcast, podcast which represents the opinions of the hosts and our guests, and we have one today. Claudia, welcome to the podcast. Well, thank you. You too. I have exciting news. Today is the milestone. It was, so today is what, the 3rd of October, October, October 8th, 2022. Do you know where you were? Yeah, sitting next to you. You were. That was podcast number one. It's our one year anniversary. Yeah. Woohoo! Yay. Isn't and we didn't exciting? even we didn't even do video that first one. We just chit chatted. We that's just right. kibit. We kibit, just did a yeah, that's it. We <laughs> just did a podcast, just an audio podcast. And now look at us go and grow. We're uh, you know, we're doing the video and Soon to have a state of the art podcast studio. Yay! So that's That's exciting. uh, It is exciting. I I got to go in there uh, between the last two podcasts and uh, check out the space. And man, oh man, is that going to be nice? So looking pretty cool, isn't it? I'm hoping by, you know, Christmas before the end of the year, hopefully we're in there. I'm told fall by the contractor, but you can't (laughs) trust contractors, Claudia. All right, Claudia, uh, before we bring in our guest today, Carla. Yes. Why, uh, what are fish oils first off? Is it like you take a fish and you just squeeze what? it and get all the oil well, out? Well, Carla, you- Carla will tell us how they do that because their product is so high quality. Uh, this is why it's such a, a wonderful company that we've been proud to carry all these years. Uh, but, you know, we're going to be talking about the importance of omega-3s. And everybody needs omega-3s. They're critically important. Uh, very important, especially for children and their brain and development with DHA. So we're going to talk about all that cool stuff. Okay, DHA, APP, OPP, yeah, you know DHA, me. I'm going to need you to explain it to me. Carla will explain it. D- DHA right. is for the brain. EPA is for the heart. Beautiful stuff. Right. Hi, Carla. Say hello to Carla hello. Schmidt. She is a certified nutritionist, national educator for Nordic Nash- Naturals. Welcome to the Thank show, you. Carla. Yes. Thank you, Denny and Claudia. And by the way, congratulations. Wow. Thank One you. Year. We're yeah. very excited. It's a lot of fun. We look forward to our Tuesday gatherings and yeah. it's only going to grow from here. Now, let me remind the viewers, uh, you have any questions throughout the podcast, put them in the comment section. You just text them in there or type them in and then I'll see them and I'll relay them to uh, Claudia and Carlos. So what are fish oils? Do you take a fish and you just squeeze all the oil out of it into a <laughs> teaspoon and then I'm supposed to take it? Not quite. Um, That's a great visual, though. I did enjoy that. (laughs) Fish oil is actually the term that most of our customers are familiar with. Yes. But what is within the fish oil is really what we're probably going to spend a good amount of time talking about today. Yes. Fish oil has many different types of fats, depending upon the type of fish. However, What we really look to is the longstanding voluminous research that exists on two primary essential fats that are found in fish oil, and that is the long-chained omega-3 fats, EPA, and DHA. Those are the active constituents. That's what at Nordic we probably spend 90% of our time educating on and explaining. So there it's... There's three components, fish oil, omega-3s, and DHA? Well, fish oil contains omega-3s. Okay, there you go. Those are the long-chain omega-3 fats. Okay. And EPA and DHA are the two that are cited in all the research to have a very vital role in the structure and function of every single cell membrane in the body, head to toe. So this Very sounds important. like a pretty important supplement to be taking, correct? Very important. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I would say you know, if various uh, stores have their foundational four, you know, the key nutrients they recommend that people consider taking on a daily basis, 
Omega-3 fats, EPA, DHA are always, I've yet to see them not in everybody's foundational list of products to take. Correct. And it's because we can't manufacture them efficiently in the body. And therefore, the only way we can receive adequate or optimal levels is to consume them either by our foods, cold water, oily fish, or algae, for that matter, for someone mm -hmm. vegan and vegetarian. Yeah or via supplementation. And unfortunately, uh, I hate to say it, we're still not doing a great job. I mean, we speak about this every day and assume most people every know. Day, every day, every right? day, yeah. We are at a 95% deficiency rate in the US. Yeah. So when we check red blood cells, we see that Americans are not getting nearly the amount they need, even just for cardio protection, which is where a lot of the right. science lives can you and eat enough fish in one day to get what you need or or you just got to take the supplements and is it better to eat the fish or is it better to have the supplements or is it a combination of both great questions um of course we could consume adequate levels of cold water oily fish like salmon herring mm -hmm. mackerel sardines anchovies but i emphasize could because in the United States, we Most are people. not consumers of fish. Most people are not going to eat that much fish, Denny, exactly. at least on a daily basis. Right. So and That's exactly true. And if you're taking a high quality fish oil that is fresh, has the active levels of the constituents that we're really after found in those food sources, very often you can actually optimize your levels and overall health more efficiently by taking a high quality supplement on a regular basis. Yes. So Claudia, remember, what would lead you to, yeah. uh, to come to, you know, say to me, if I came in and I told you my story of my health and how I'm feeling, what, what would I say that would trigger you or Carl, if you know this too, would trigger you to go, you definitely need fish oil, omega-3. Is there any like symptoms, so to speak? Well, to what Carla just said, it's a foundational nutrient, at least in our store. There are certain things that we can, that I consider important for everyone. Probiotics, omega-3s, magnesium. I mean, you've got to have certain tools. And this is a very, very, the omega-3s, EPA, DHA are incredibly important tools to protect the heart, to protect the brain. But I just wanted to say, um, you know, a lot of our elderly customers, when they were kids, they're, they were being given cod liver oil. So, you know, fish oil has been around for centuries. Mm -hmm. I think taking it in a, the, some of the forms we have now are, you know, they're more pleasant tasting. Some of them are lemon flavor or whatever. But um, it's very, very important stuff. And even just, uh, which we'll talk about anti-inflammatory, lubrication for the joints and all these things. But we definitely see children are extremely, extremely deficient in the um, yes. in DHA specifically. So we're fans of, that's a, a, a fundamental nutrient that we encourage parents to get their children on because it's so important for the development of the brain. Absolutely. But Carla, I just want you yes. to speak please real quickly to, so the freshness of the oil is very important. The way it's pulled out of the ocean, the way it's processed is very, very important. And the other thing that I've always um, appreciated and respected that, you know, you guys and the other companies that we, we only sell a few companies of fish oil because we want to make sure they're tested for quality. So uh -huh. these are tested for heavy metal contaminations, which is extremely important. A lot of people are buying them, different companies on mass market, and they have no idea what they're getting in those fish oil products. So it, it you know, fish oil is meant to help and improve and benefit human health. So quality is essential. Absolutely. And I think there's nothing that kills this category or a person's desire to continue to take this on a daily basis than running into a poor quality fish oil where they get those dreaded fish burbs, fish taste. And yeah, I don't know how to emphasize this more. And the way I relate it is if you purchase fresh fish and you put it in your fridge and four days later, you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot to cook that. And you went to cook to pull it out and it smelled really bad and fishy. Most people are going to put it in the trash. Right. However, there's this misconception that fish oil, when taken in a supplement form, 
is going to smell or taste fishy. And that is actually the detriment of poor manufacturing. So as you mentioned, you know, Nordic has been the premier number one line in the U.S. for the longest period of time. We've been around since 1995. And what we purposefully do is we don't job out any part of our process. Mm -hmm. So there's no opportunity for any adulteration or oxidation, what people refer to as rancidity. So from the minute the fish goes on the boat with fishing vessels that we align with that are friend of the sea certified for sustainability, they are put in an oxygen free nitrogen blanketed mm -hmm. environment that pushes the oxygen out. Then it travels to our facility in Norway, which is dedicated to the manufacturing of fish oil only. And that's where we molecularly distill it to pull out those actives, EPA, DHA, purify, test, test, test yes. during every single step. And again, that oxygen free nitrogen and blanketed environment is maintained. Same takes place in bottling and encapsulating at our facility. And before that bottle is closed, another shot of nitrogen. So what we're doing intentionally is making sure that the customer has a good experience because we know that compliance is not good once that dies. Um, but also you are getting the active components in a fresh active efficacious state. Yes. And you know, we test all day long, but people want to know through an independent tester what our results are. So we've gone a step further. Every single batch of product, whether it's our fish oil formulas or our A to Z's, is sent out to an independent third party and they test for all the things that you mentioned, PCPs, dioxins, Mercury, we test for radiation with every yeah. single batch of fish oil. And that is available in real time to the customer. There's a QR code on our box, put your phone up to it, takes you right to the landing page. You put your lot number in and there you are. You That's have very cool. Of an yeah. Study. So, I don't know anybody who does that. That is awesome. It's very cool. Yeah. There's a few well, it, companies doing some level of that, but not to that level. Well, and I, and in part for, for me, I think it's because you guys are still independently family owned company. You're not owned by some big conglomerate that doesn't care about the product. So this is why we're highlighting on, it's very important to me that we're highlighting all the wonderful family owned, independently owned companies in our industry that are truly creating products with care and integrity. And it shows in the end result when people, yeah, I don't think I've ever had one customer come back and tell me they took the product and belched it up all day. Oh, that's so awesome to hear. So, yeah. and if somebody does, I say to them, well, I think that's your liver talking to us. Maybe, we, <laughs> yeah. maybe we need to uh, say, you know, address your liver a little bit, but as right. far as the quality, it's really an outstanding product. I've taken it for years. So, um, so how about if we talk about you know, EPA, what it's important for. And I do sure. want to point out one thing, Carla, if you would mention this. The FDA does not like companies making claims. They're very, yeah. very, they're not happy about it. Um, but this particular nutrient, they allow claims to be made because of the vast amount of quality research. Is that correct? Yes. And, um, one of the main reasons that they allow claims, those qualified health claims that you're referring to that have been approved back in 2019 yes, uh, is because we have a, a big overseeing nonprofit organization known as GOED, the Global Organization for EPA and DHA. And they vet all of the science related to these fats. And they purposefully worked for years to get the FDA to allow for various qualified health claims. Of course, the FDA does their usual disclaimer that some of the studies are inconsistent and non-conclusive. So we always have to include that in our statements. Yes. But um, there's a lot of emphasis now by the FDA and the FTC on really tightening the regulatory belt. And thankfully, Nordic is in a, a beautiful place because we've always been 
over the top compliant. Um, you know, very often I'll be in a, a field tour doing a training and and do my wordsmithing because we won't use certain words because we know by Deche and other regulations we can't. Yes. Well, you know what you could do is you guys could get a lobbyist to go to Washington and start greasing the government and then they'll get <laughs> off your back because that's what it's all about, sister. But that's a whole other podcast <laughs> later down. That's a whole other story, but it's yes. Just, but yes. Yes. Um, and I'm sorry, the first part of your question was related to the understanding the differences between just, EPA yes. and DHA. Yeah, just keeping Great. it simple. And a, a real simple way to speak to these two. First of all, we always need both. They are found in nature together mm -hmm. and oftentimes via um, drug companies that are attempting to market products that are only one or a right. synthetic of EPA. Um, both are necessary, but they have very unique roles. The way I think about the two is you walk through this big doorway that says omega-3s. And to the left, you see an EPA door, and to the right, you see a DHA. Right. So when we step into those individual roles that are unique, DHA is that neck up fat. It's the builder fat, the structural fat. So vitally important in pregnancy, Mm -hmm. at least up until age six for the development of the brain. Yes. Brain is 60% fat, 20 to 25% of that is or should be DHA. Yes. Um, and so pregnancy is vitally important because mm -hmm. there's such an accelerated rate of growth of the brain, especially in that last trimester. I think there's a 840% increase of the transfer of DHA from mom to baby in that last trimester. It's crazy. How much? Say it again. Say it again. How much? 140%. Wow. So yes. then you must consider how many women don't, pregnant women don't know they should be consuming uh, DHA on a daily basis. And that's right. a big concern. Yes. Um, so DHA has a big role also in visual acuity in the highest concentration of it in the human body is in the retina of the eye, which is 35%. DHA. Wow. So again, during development, yeah, super high. Yeah. So that's, you know, the adorable demo woman who was trying to help a group of newbies like myself said, the best way to remember DHA is to say, duh. And there you are, <laughs> neck up, <laughs> build your fat. <laughs> But it's besides it being important in fetal development and those early stages of uh, infant, childhood, adolescence, it also has a very key role for those that may struggle with attention and focus. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in our line, sometimes we have a product intentionally higher in DHA than EPA for those population. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, as those lovely brain cells say, hmm, I'm not going to function as optimally as I used to as we're aging and that progressive cognitive decline starts to find its way in. DHA, again, could be a really great place to focus on for someone whose goal is to enhance memory, cognition, just everyday task performing. Yes, so that's the world of DHA, but it does go across life stages. However, EPA, we call the neck down fat. It is the functional fat. And if to be exceptionally compliant, um, we are allowed to say that it supports a healthy response to inflammation. And if you think of neck down function, we think about heart health, all within those buckets, right? Blood pressure, triglyceride levels, right? heart related events. We speak to immune health, the support of the immune cells innate and adaptive, being able to really come in when needed and perform their functions. So also autoimmune condition states would be functional for EPA. Yes. Um, individuals with joint pain, discomfort, as well, interestingly, and most people get a little confused on this one, mood. Very often people think higher DHA to EPA for mood, but the research is pointing to actually best positive outcomes in a three to one, 
four to one ratio of EPA to DHA because of its role in supporting a healthy response ah. in the entire nervous system. Not wow. talking about the structure of the brain. Right. And those individuals tend to utilize once EPA crosses over the blood brain barrier, those that struggle seem to be using EPA at a much more accelerated rate. Hence why the research lands there. It's really interesting. Right. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah, that's I'm glad you pointed that out. I that's that's very interesting to know. So how because do you know right. how when much we do think you of, need, though? That, that's the question. I mean, yep. every, I'm sorry? every individual is different, right? So for me, I might need more of one and not so much of the other. How do you, how do you know what you're lacking most in? That's a great question. I mean, the wow, only that's thing. twice today. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> great. I'm on a well, roll. These are awesome to work, Daddy. I'm not playing favorites. <laughs> <laughs> um, so obviously... There's two ways to determine where your blood levels are at. You can do a test that measures your fatty acid profile. And there are those that really target omega-3 levels as well as omega-6, because we're always not balanced well between the two. The other is um, based on reaction. So Nordic only formulates products based on research. So, for example, Denny, if you came in and said to Claudia at the store level, I would assume um, I'm dealing with some heart related conditions and I'm not remembering well. Um, I've also got some pain that I'm dealing with in my joints. She will ask you questions to discern what's your main goal. If it's memory, exactly. then she would likely say, let's go with a higher DHA to Exactly. Eat. If it's that neck downs function, yep. then let's go higher EPA to DHA. But that's why at the very beginning, I had that little disclaimer of we always need both because oftentimes when we educate on this, people get hyper-focused on, do I need higher EPA or DHA? Right. The bottom line is we're, we're so deficient. Let's just make sure people are consuming these on a daily basis, like Ultimate Omega they're fairly close, a little higher in EPA than DHA due to their sardine anchovy source profile, but we need them. By um, the way, that's what Claudia, you had me on. Ah. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, you know, it's fair to say most people need higher levels of both. I mean, most people are, especially as they get older, most people are struggling with inflammatory issues and they need some, you know, brain support. Children, we tend to put more on the DHA just because so many of them are coming in. I mean, Denny, you and I have talked about this, how many episodes we're seeing, you know, six, seven, eight-year-olds being, you know, coming in. They're on all these antidepressants and anti, I mean, it's mm -hmm. awful. It's Sad. so awful. It's just very upsetting. So, yeah. you know, but I, now I didn't bring one, one of every skew. <laughs> I did bring, I grabbed the, the Omega, the ultimate Omega, but this particular one has CoQ10 in it, which is a great ah, product. But sure. there's just, I put you on the original ultimate Omega. All right. Well, and you put that in my pile and I'll stop by the store tomorrow <laughs> to pick it up. So I go to the Denny pile. Whenever I show things, they go in his pile. They go in his pile. That's but already been by the you. Mile. The ultimate, the 2X is probably one of our most popular. I, it's, wow. People feel it. They truly yeah. feel it. And um, they'll come back and just, you know, after a month, a couple months, few months, whatever it is. And of course, we always remind everybody, the more you clean up your diet, all the you know, supplements will, will work better. I mean, if they're not up against a mountain of junk, they're all going to have a more, greater potential to do what yes. they're meant to do. But the uh, 2X is definitely our most popular, I think. All right, That's put that right. one in my pile, not the other one. <laughs> All right. So, both, and then Carla, I just want to show you, I brought the children's DHA. Wonderful. Great Wonderful. product. Great product. Oh, and I see you have the extra, which is actually my favorite in the children's. Exactly. Children's DHA always did well, but then we kept digging into the science and seeing that the positive outcomes landed in that much higher level of DHA in a formula. Hence that has two times the amount of DHA to our regular children's DHA. I always say to my kids who are now late twenties, 
I really wish I knew this when you were, when I was pregnant and when you were young children, uh, you know, you could have been a lot smarter. They always laugh. But you know, I always tell every parent when they say that, thank God, you know what you know now and you're learning what you're learning and you're, you know, that's how it goes. Um, but I, I, with the DHA for children, it is amazing. You know, the way I look at it, these kids are generationally deficient of so much. I mean, yes. how could they not be? Right. You know, with all the junk after World War II, the junk and the sugar went up and the probiotics and everything else went down. So That's these kids, good. a lot of them are very are struggling and it's very, very sad to see. Thank God we have the knowledge and wonderful tools to help, to help them feel better. So all right, we have a question here from Lucy. She says, I feel like I really need this supplement, but every time I've taken it, I get tired slash dizzy. I do have low blood pressure blood pressure and have thought maybe it drops my blood pressure any suggestions she loves the show loves you guys she's never tried it from Thank nordic you. naturals though uh -huh. well that's where you have to begin because Mistake without, number one. yeah without knowing the quality of what you were taking that's always the issue that's always the first issue so yeah and i might add to that i mean we do know that Omega-3 fatty acids have been supported in the literature to lower blood pressure. And so I'm not sure what dose Lucy's taking, but it could be that she may want to start at a lower dose, at such a lower as 500 dose. milligrams a day yep. to test it out. But if you're getting dizzy and tired, that immediately in my mind said perhaps allergic reaction, but there's no fish components. Um, I don't mean to Nordic. It could be if it's a poor quality product, they may have added colorants or preservatives or a yes. slew of artificial ingredients that really interfere with how your body's receiving these profound fats. Or so the I'm, company isn't checking for contaminants. It could be something that simple. Right. So quality, quality, quality. That's why I'm so proud of what we do in health food stores. We yes. are all about quality because we care. And that's Absolutely. why we work in a beautiful synergy with companies like Nordic because they care. And right. when you people are shopping mass market for their supplements, it's not because let's face it, it's an investment in our health and we want the best quality because we want the best investment. So Nordic, yes. so if you come in, I don't know if you're in the Toledo area. Thank you for watching also. Uh, but if you come in, we'll guide you properly and let's see how you do. All right, right, Claudia, do you have any more products? Because we're running out of time. Already? Wow. Yes, we just got started. Okay, a couple. <laughs> um, I, I did bring the blood sugar. Okay, so the, the CoQ10, there's 100, what is it, 100 milligrams of CoQ10 per two soft gels. That's it's a great correct. way. A lot of people have a million bottles they're taking, and they're always looking for how can they cut out so a bottle. So this would be for CoQ10. I also brought the blood sugar support. I love this. This has alpha-lipoic acid in it, which is a wonderful, we've talked about alpha-lipoic acid, Denny, in some other past podcasts, but I'm a big fan of, of alpha-lipoic. It helps a lot of people, very supportive to the pancreas. And actually, um, Carla, there's research showing that it's very important for the brain also, isn't it? Alpha-lipoic? Alpha -lipoic. Yeah, I think in its antioxidant role that it yes. has been supported for the research on brain. Yes. And keeping the neurons free of any oxidative stress or landing on signal pathways to yes. cut off communication or cell to cell communication. Cell to cell, here. yes. Because that's yeah. what it's all about, right? Rebuilding cell to cell communication. I mean, that's, at the end of the day, um, I, always, I always remember Dr. Bernard Jensen. I don't know if you know yeah, who he was, sure. but I was very blessed to. Uh, Joe and Pat Bassett used to have him annually for a three-day mm -hmm. conference at the store. So as a young woman, I was very blessed to learn from him. And he always said, life happens at the cell. And I always have remembered that because it's true. If things can't get to the cell, what's the point? That's why right. digestion and cleaning up the gut is so important. If it can't get through the gut, it can't uptake properly. That's anyway, right. um, I didn't bring any of the liquids, uh, but the liquids are wonderful. What are their lemon flavor? There's orange flavor. And uh, they're, they're easy right. to take. Yes, they're a great product. We always encourage people to take fish oil with food, help it digest better. Um, 
And the other one I wanted to, you mentioned the algae form. So there's yes. a lot of vegans, plant-based people out there. So just tell us real quickly what the algae based. Yes. Um, is algae, um, are they deriving both EPA and DHA from it or just DHA? It really depends on the strain, but for the most part, algae is mostly DHA, just as I found thought. in yes. nature. And one thing I love to emphasize with the algae, many vegans and vegetarians, you know, customarily for decades, get they think they're getting enough omega-3s from their alpha linolenic acid sources like flax and chia, leafy yes. greens. And those are considered indirect sources. They have to convert into those long chain omega-3s. Mm -hmm. 20 conversion steps in the body, a perfectly healthy person only converts one to 5%, let alone someone who may have existing conditions, right. environmental stressors. So what I love about algae for that vegan or vegetarian is they can get a viable dose with a direct source. Nothing needs to be converted. Right. The strain in the product you just showed me is a chytrium. In that particular product, is all DHA, 500 milligrams. Yes. We do have another formula um, called, um, I'm blanking on, omega algae, or algae omega, excuse me. Take and your supplement, actually, take a supplement, Carl. Your brain will figure it out. <laughs> I need more DHA. Yes. Uh, algae <laughs> omega. That is also a skytrium chain. However, that particular one has some EPA in it, like 145 milligrams per two. So we do have two options, but normally it's mostly DHA. Yes. Well, right. that's good stuff. I think that's good stuff, huh? Great. I think that yeah, was a you. good basic understanding of omega-3s. Would you agree? I would. Denny, I would, would you too. agree? I would. Okay. Now you mentioned CoQ10. Now is that for the joints? What is what is that no. for? You just dropped that in there out of all well, of a sudden. Well, I did because like everybody knows what it is. Well, because I didn't grab the just the plain ultimate omega <laughs> I meant to, and I forgot. So CoQ10 came along for the ride. CoQ10 is very important for the uh, function of the heart. Oh, it's a heart among thing. other things. Okay, yeah. well, that'll be another production. What is it? Say it again. It's also involved heavily in energy production because yes. it's the coenzyme that creates. ATP are energy molecules. Yes. So like for that product, um, definitely important for heart, for energy of the heart, because it utilizes so much electrical energy, but yes. also some individuals that may be on medications that naturally reduce uh, production of coenzyme Q10. Some cardiologists, internists will recommend omegas with CoQ to make sure that level doesn't drop low. Yeah, so we have we have cardiologists well. that uh, which I respect when they have people on statins, they will tell them come into the store and get CoQ10. So right. that's yeah, but that's right. another conversation. But good stuff. I just kind of threw that in there. Sorry. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> All right. Well, well, Carla, so one other thing before we go, I know we're running out. Um, we there's gummies. You guys make yes. gummies for kids, for elderly that can't swallow different things. So it's a beautiful line. We're very proud to carry thank this company. You. And thank you guys for all that you do. Thank you. And we can't do it without you. I mean, well, we can have product all day long, but if your enthusiasm and knowledge and passion shine. So thank you for supporting your customers and our line. We're well, really grateful. You. Yep. That's the beauty of our industry is that synergy, right? Between the small star stores that really care and the wonderful family owned companies that care as well. So we really appreciate you being with us and hope you join us again. I would love it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank Thanks you. Very so much much to you. you got it. Have a wonderful day. You too, Thank Carla. You. Thank you. Thank you. So Lucy Spencer, that's that's who asked that question, says, thank you very much with a heart emoji. And then Dawn says, I recently bought the magnesium fizz. And for whatever reason, it makes me feel weird. Oh, well, that's, well, I mean, that's a big, you know, that's another conversation. So we would have to, but we're happy to, if you come in the store, we're happy to guide you on that. 
So come so in, I, come back in and talk to Claudia yeah, about it. Just come back in anytime. Listen, when we guide people, we are there to partnership with them. We're not there to say, just take all this stuff and see ya. We're there to right. guide people. So if it's not working for you, bring it in and, you know, come back in and we'll look and see. We'll ask you a few questions and see what's going on. So. All right. So all right. she says she will. She says, thank you. Thank and you. I will. All right. Thank so you. you know what we're doing next week, right? It's Q&A, uh, next- baby. Q&A. A- Claudia, yeah. Q&A. It's one of and my I favorite. Love, I, it's one of my favorites I, that we do. I love that people are sending in questions. I, I think it's so cool. I love that. So, so it'll be you, an everybody. entire podcast next week. And of course, this one uh, on Friday, I'll have it in audio form. So if you know somebody who missed it, somebody who could benefit from this, then you can share it, t- you know, with them. And it's for some people, it's a lot easier just to listen to it in an audio podcast. So that'll yeah. be up by uh, Friday on the Facebook page. Yes. All right. What else do you want to mention here, Claudia, before I give you the last word? I, th- I mean, that's it. I think we went over a lot of nice products and uh, I hope that everyone um, embraces, you know, what we're talking about every week. Uh, we're, we're, we're teaching people how to embrace their own health and fill their natural toolbox with quality, effective, safe, beautiful products. It changes the whole scope for so many people. And when we, you know, I always say, when we see people that are coming in on 12, 15, 18 meds, and, and they have all these different docs that are just throwing them on meds and nobody's helping them, we never uh, uh, encourage, you know, we don't encourage anybody to stop their meds, but it's fair to say we have a lot of people coming in. They want to learn a different way. They want to learn how to nourish their health. And I think it's a beautiful thing. I always say, ultimately, as more people learn to nourish their own health, it will change so many things in this country and um, big things, important things. So keep working on it, everybody. And we so much appreciate you tuning in and thank you every week. Our audience is growing and it's very exciting. So, so, Oh, is this the last word? Okay. Yes. I, I, okay. So, um, you know, I always say just, just keep the faith. Do what you can for yourself. And, you know, the greatest teacher is to teach by example. So as, as adults, as parents, change what they're doing with their, what they're eating and their lifestyle. And, you know, they're, they're giving good nutrition to themselves and their children. This makes a big impact for the children of this country. They need to see positive ways of approaching their health, positive ways of eating God-given food. So it's a beautiful journey. It's a commitment, but it's the best commitment people will ever make because it's, it's uh, again, we've worked with people with lots of money and everything in the world, but they didn't have their health. And so they weren't having a lot of fun. So health is every, good health is everything. You know, nature's pharmacy is magnificent. I'm so grateful to be a part of this uh, industry and walk this journey every day. So everybody just take it in baby steps. Just do little things every day. Be mindful as you can. Care about what you're eating. Care about what you're drinking. You know, let your kids see that not food is not meant to come out of a can or the freezer or, you know, a fast food restaurant. We've got to get back to teaching them about true God-given things. So anyway, keep the faith. And um, it's a beautiful day here. We hope it's a beautiful day where you're at. So many blessings to everybody. Peace.